Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Wisecrack. Today I am blessed. I have Barb's on my left. Behind me we have So Profound, who you can find on YouTube on So Profound TV and he's also been doing the Chamembe stories, which is dope as fuck. Um, we have Dennis over there, um, his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Like we'll be somewhere over there. So today, um, the topic that's I actually haven't told you guys what yeah. the topic is, <laughs> and I've just been hanging it over your head. Like I'm not gonna say it. But today, the topic. Um, everyone knows what happened with Will and Jada, right? Yes. yes. Everyone knows August Alcina came out and he was like, I have never loved a woman like Jada. And people were like, Oh, is that what you're doing? Literally, every Jada says that about Jada. Right? Did you see the letter from Chuta? Yeah, look, it oh, must be something absolutely incredible. Like, that's the extraterrestrial Yoni stuff. But then, okay, with Will and Jada. You know that people were criticizing the whole fact that clearly they're in an open relationship, etc., etc. So the topic is about open relationships. Right. First of all, has anyone ever been in an open relationship? Asking for a friend. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a safe space, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a safe space. It's a safe space. <laughs> Oh, I was just asking. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought she was about to you drop a bomb on. I was just asking. <laughs> okay, well, I have. I mean, I've unknowingly been in an open relationship, but then that's cheating, hey? So. <laughs> that's not open. Is it? That's not the same that's thing. That's not open at all. <laughs> well, who was opening this relationship? No, I wasn't opening it. I was unknowingly in an open. He was open. Oh, okay. He was open. Me, I thought we were close. But in any case, so what is an open relationship going on from that? Like, what is an open relationship? I think it's when two people are in an agreement to say, we can see other people, but we yeah. have that going for us. What going? Like, the, the, the relationship. relationship. Yeah, like, uh, person A and person B coming together. And at some point, person A comes and says, oh, you know what? I like Rudolph. Would you be okay if I hang out with her? And the person is like, like, yeah, but I know. Do that. <laughs> that's, that's my take on it. There has to be that communication because you can't just assume that it's open. What do you think, Arnold? Uh, and I just wanted to ask a question that oh. is an open relationship the same as polyamory, for example? Because those are two different. That's a good two question. Uh, but no, it's two different, different things, though. I think they're two different things because you have to be polyamorous to be in an open relationship, but you can't be. So an open relationship. You don't have it, to be in an open just, relationship to be polyamorous. To share. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, now you took all the wins away. <laughs> I think, I, I want, but you know, it's not Bible. Mm. No, I wanted to ask that, is an open relationship only servicing physical needs or open means you can actually be in a full-blown relationship, only that is to a lesser extent, mm -hmm. because the main relationship is to a great extent. Well, you see now, Arnold, that's why you're <laughs> here, because you actually led me on to my next question, exactly like what Arnold says. Like, what are the limits? when you're in an open relationship. Is it just physical? If someone else starts having emotional attachments to their open person, is that also part of it? Like, what are the limits within the openness? What do you think? But I feel like the whole concept of it is that you agree, right? Mm -hmm. So you can agree that, okay, uh, maybe you have the option of having the physical, uh, like you can do the physical thing with someone else or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you could actually agree that, you know, you're going to like other people too, and when you do, when you decide to like them, you know you can pursue them within mm -hmm. certain limits, or you can fully explore it um, if you feel safe enough. You know what I mean? So it's like it's different, but it's whatever you two agree to. But I okay, it's easy to be politically correct. I always yeah. say this, but who would actually like in practice be in an open relationship? An open relationship can exist at any, like in any situation. <laughs> what do you mean? Not cheating. Not cheating. Not not cheating. Okay. Not cheating. <laughs> An open relationship can exist when the person who wants the open relationship is the person who has more power in the relationship. Okay. That's an interesting wow. one. That, that is. So if, 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 if like the girl I'm with is actually like Dennis's everything, like I have to be with Dennis no matter what, and Dennis shows up and says, yo, but if you want to be with Dennis, 
it's going to have to come with so, this and that. And yeah. then they have to consider it. You know what I mean? It's like, so, okay, so, cool. are, you, are you saying every relationship has a power struggle? <laughs> not Well, yeah. But I'm saying that the, not a power struggle, but I think there's a power dynamic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I like that a lot. <laughs> it does look, does make more sense because if I have the power in whatever given situation and then I'm saying, uh, yeah, I want to do this and you don't really like to do that, but the fact that you probably love me and mm-hmm. because I'm imposing that, yeah. and you're probably just going to go ahead with it. No matter how much it hurts you. And, and I think that fine. sucks as well. But like the funny thing is, a lot of people are looking at this Will and Jada situation. Like Jada was the one that was uh, that had the better p- power dynamic to influence the situation. Because yeah. people have been dogging on Will. Well, like, that, they've been like, when Will Smith comes in, what's Jada's voice? <laughs> Y'all have seen the memes. It's not right. <laughs> but who, but who knows what was happening, right? Yeah. yeah. And he. But then we spoke about the power dynamic. Was he just strung along in the decision yeah. to be? Yeah. Sure. He was yeah. doing his own definitely strong <laughs> Jada Pinkett is, has superpowers. We know She's this. a chakra we honey. Know She's this. a chakra honey. She has actually expressed my hurts though. Yeah, oh, what hurts? A fam. Will Smith has been the epitome of alpha. Yeah. Has he though? Yeah, it's like, like, in many ways, ways I get that. In many ways I get that. Just in, come on, this guy was the fresh prince. Mm-hmm. I know. He he been bad boy. But he's and never he, been, he's he never been alpha. Do you know what no, I mean? but then like he was he's so diverse. <laughs> so that's what you're issue. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> Wait, wow. no, I get it. I get it. I get what you're saying because you're he was well, he man. was like, the fresh prince. So he yeah. did rap and was actually oh. good at it, you know. And then he started doing like to my vlogs and he's yeah. like the social media. Yeah. What what? Okay, so here's, like, but here's, also, here's my question, right? Not just like, yeah, here's so here's a question. Mm-hmm. Assuming that you were going to be in an open relationship of some sort, right? Would right. you want the per- other person, right? Because now there's going to be another person. Yeah. So for you, that's there's going to be another guy, and for you, that there's going to be another woman, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you prefer that that person was incredible, mm-hmm. or that they were like so? In this case, like for Will, right? Would do you think that he would have preferred if this was like Jay Z? Or it being August. Because you know with August, you can still come home and be <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like, come on, guys. Oh, that's that's a, can I express Your little boy, you know, <laughs> tell your little boy to not call you. But, but you know how to say that about home. You know what I mean? I think you like to so, go, August. He's deserved. Yeah, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. We just say, go give me a drink. No, <laughs> no but I, so get, I get the question. Yeah, but even <laughs> from a... From, a, from just a general <laughs> standpoint, like, even when we talk about threesomes, bruh, I don't even want Ooh, the other okay. chick to... Be, <laughs> in theory, um, I don't want the other chick to be prettier than me or to be more bummed than me. I still want to maintain the power dynamic so of this, this is my couple. And that's how so you I get prefer August. Ka August. That's why you get August. Ka August. <laughs> but he's cute, though. Do. Yeah. He's cute. Uh, let's play a game. It's called, how do you think people ended up uh, uh, the first couple to ever exercise uh, open relationship. Open relationship. Well, mm-hmm. What led them to this point? I have a theory. Mm-hmm. This is my theory. All right. Mm-hmm. I think so those two so people fun. at some point they were like, you know what? Uh, just because I'm in love with you doesn't mean that I'm now blind. That, that doesn't mean that I don't see this chick as hot anymore. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mean that I don't see those lips as amazing or those hips as mind blowing. And this this honey is also the like, same you know what? Yeah, like, <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't. It doesn't mean that I'm blind, but it just means that I choose to be with you. You are the center. Yeah. But but right. You see someone, you're like, I'm really attracted to that person. They're like, okay, you're attracted to them. Okay, go mm-hmm. go taste them. However, the thing that we share that you cannot share with the other person, because mm-hmm. what makes an open relationship open is the idea that there's something you share that you cannot share with the other person, mm-hmm. right? Because clearly, van organs are happy now. Clearly, it was easy. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Like, hold up. <laughs> See, guys. Now it's bad Yeah. And I think, honestly, the first people who exercised an open relationship were Abraham and Sarah. 
I'm like, you know what? Mm, I still think hair guys Ooh. is cute. So oh, I'm okay. So. Ooh, that's good look, oh, sharp. I think it's not messy. I think should not name my hand. No, but the thing is, like, no, that could call me for a loop. <laughs> <laughs> even know it from like a biblical Way standpoint. I actually appreciate that a lot. But yeah, I think that's it's really safe, you know. Yeah, that's what you can see. Okay, I have a question. I have a question. So, how do you define commitment when you're in an open relationship? Oof. I think once you go down the path of open relationship, you negated everything to do with commitment. That is true. And I, I think that's okay. I don't think it's I don't a problem. Think so. Uh, so because it, it essentially the only thing if you if you've opened up to emotion to the emotional side as well, mm-hmm. like you can go and have emotional attachments with other people, mm-hmm. it means that at that point essentially your only commitment is that our emotional connection will always be superior. Mm-hmm. And that may not be the case. They and may go out there and fall time. in love with yeah. August fully <laughs> and never come back. But then you even like I mean? in the August situation, I, I would like say and then when she gets out of here and then and then she goes to Mpana August and she never comes back. Mpana. And then what a big will. Bro, and then what a big will. But, bro, no way. I know you said, though, I know you said, Kutim, okay, from, like, an emotional standpoint, whilst you've opened that gate, you've gone away with everything that has to do with commitment. But what about commitment to the bag, guys? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like that's what's keeping the Smiths together. Commitment to the bag and the empire that they've built. Yeah. And then that's what they committed to. But then it's like these other... Because I don't feel like Will has a problem that he they were emotionally it. connected. Yeah, I don't think he I does. Don't feel like oh, he, he probably does, but not too much. Maybe in his own way. So, oh, I, I, but I, I, he gave a blessing away to Mfano. Mfano August. Yeah, Mfano do what August. you can. <laughs> and he said it on the red table one time. Say, he said that, oh. I'm not in charge of your happiness. So yeah. Do what he you was mean. like, fly, Pelican, fly. <laughs> Okay, I watched that. <laughs> I watched that. Right? Yeah, no, it's your show, man. It's fun. For me it. personally, mm. I think if I was ever to hear that, or if if that if I had to find myself in that sort of arrangement, mm-hmm. I'd prefer it was Mbana <laughs> over. Okay, I would hate for it to be but someone where I'm like, before. I get what she had to go and find. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Okay. Like if, I'm like, oh, you know what? I get I it. couldn't get her that. That's what she wanted. <laughs> like, oh, I wouldn't. Like, I, I don't want. That. I, don't, I don't want. That. So, so I, I think we're defining uh, commitment in a very linear way. Okay. So, so I don't think commitment is only limited to uh, the full scope of a relationship, as we call it. You could be committed to a decision. You could be committed okay. to a uh, certain set of rules mm-hmm. that becomes your level of commitment mm-hmm. so once you agree on that because think about it when you meet a person for the first time and you say hey i think you're cute i like your bum mm-hmm. can we be in a relationship and she's like yes i think you're cute you can touch my boy. In front my of guys. <laughs> Let, let's do this right? yeah. what you just did is agree in principle to being with each other mm-hmm. or exclusive mm-hmm. right however Right at a certain point, if you decide that you know what, I saw someone else who doesn't have a bum like yours, but they don't have the X Y Z, and I think I like them, and mm-hmm. I think I want to have a physical relationship with them. But my commitment to you is X Y Z. To them, uh, we're just gonna have sex, and I think that becomes the commitment that they're committed to. And the bag is part of that, and the kids are part of that. And the- I have something that I want to ask. Commitment. I feel like when it comes to a situation like an open relationship, right? And we're talking about, yes, commitment this, and it's up to that. What about the fact that people are looking at Jada as if she kind of captured Mufana, Mufana, I guess. And like, he was vulnerable, apparently. You know he's sick. He's addicted to Percocet. And you've now taken advantage of his situation by being in an open relationship with him. Like, what do you think about consent in that kind of way of consenting to be in an open relationship but people still looking at you as if you're the victim of this forbidden love there was consent right August knew what he was getting himself into Mm -hmm. this was I mean this is a marriage well I don't know if they still define the relationship as a marriage, but life partnership partnership that they have. And he knew, he knew what he was getting himself into. And also looking at what he was dealing with Mm -hmm. and getting into that relationship. Here you could say she probably saw a loophole. 
to yeah. have him around, around her finger, but I don't think it's that. Once you're in there deep, you are in there deep. Right. You know, and it has nothing to do with what's happening in your life. Don't you? I really, I really yeah. feel like being a side nigga, right? <laughs> Have you been one? I have. Now let me tell you. Let me tell you. Without a shadow of a doubt, I have been a side nigga. Knowing you, I'm knowing you. Both. Being a side nigga has to be the best like situation you can find yourself in. Best, right. best, best. It's incredible. You're preaching a good sermon. It's yeah. incredible. <laughs> okay. You are with this person who says, like, imagine in like, uh, in where it's just physical. They just want you for physical transactions. Mm-hmm. Go back to your house. Don't ask me how my day was. Don't ask me what I ate. Don't take me to the movies. Don't take me to dinner. Bro, don't buy me, don't buy me my anything. birthday. Like, you don't have to remember this birthday. I don't even have to remember oh. the birthday. I can just you want tomorrow. You know what? I mean? I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, and I see you posting like a thread of things on Instagram. Like, oh, oh it's your birthday. I'm mm-hmm. posting you today. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> and you're still fine. Like that relationship is still great. Mm. Like, why are you messing that up? Yeah. Like, why? Why are you not just like like taking that <laughs> and just like? Are you speaking as in front of August? Oh, no, 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 because I'm in front of August in this space. <laughs> Well, I feel so, like I feel like, like I feel like Dennis what? belongs to the street. No. <laughs> like the streets are within no. Dennis. <laughs> No, let's agree though. Yeah. There's a certain point in your career as a side nigga. Okay. Yeah. In this illustrious career. Yeah. Wait. That, you know, <laughs> that at some point you felt like you were more powerful mm-hmm. than the main nigga. You almost always are. Exactly. You oh, almost always are. And you know there is that nigga that's no, okay? The you know, you study, yeah. Yeah. No. you're more powerful than the main nigga is the day of your demise. Actually, for the sake of community, oh, no, no, no. No. you expect too much. You expect too much. I've been there as a side chick. I get it. You know, you, you start that you the partners doing wrong mm. and they don't know that they're doing wrong, mm. but they're bro, telling bro. you because you're listen. a safe space. You see, the thing with relationships right, is really, <laughs> don't know. Yeah, so the thing <laughs> with relationships is relationships have ups and downs, right? Like, mm-hmm. You're fighting sometimes, you're getting along sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no reason to fight with your side nigga. Like, <laughs> like that's, your nigga, that's your happy place. So <laughs> I how, know, right? how how you say like that's why they always have more power. <laughs> it's Friday night, your main nigga and you have been fighting oh. about some dumb shit all week, right? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, your side nigga's day is like, yo, what up? What are you saying? <laughs> like, your pizza saying? on my radio house. Oh, so you know what I mean? Right now. They, they show up with pizza. Do. Don't even talk to you about what the issues you're having in your relationship. Yeah. No, man. And counsel. Like they can get I, too. I don't think he means it like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah, a good guy. But you're just not, you're not taking but up to understand but it. But you're not coming. But yeah. yeah. So what you do tomorrow? <laughs> But at the same time, I feel like that's at a certain stage in your life. Like for people to have been getting married as long as they've been getting married, mm-hmm. I feel like there comes a point in your life where you do want to settle with someone. And because as a side nigga, you spend so much time with this person, you will develop feelings for them. And yep. it's always them in their happy place it with is. you as well. So you also have a romanticized view of how they are in a relationship. But when you actually decide, oh, I now want to be in a relationship, Relationship. They're in your top five of, of who you're thinking I can be in a relationship with. Yeah. So at some point you want to elevate, and I think that that's what happened with all fun August. <laughs> because he was now trying to elevate the feelings have grown. We're now spiritually connected. They had a spiritual marriage. What? We're now spiritually connected. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then now all of a sudden you just leave me to the dogs. She needs to bring us. Yeah. 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 You're not important <laughs> anymore. Really? But I'm sure you knew <laughs> that. Like, I'm sure you knew that. Like, like, yeah. If you just chill down the drugs, right. like, like yeah. the Smiths. It's like a little bit like that. Jada, Willow, Will, everyone. Like, 